trace rifles are a type of weapon in Destiny 2. They are a special weapon, with almost all of them being in the energy slot. Most of these are exotic, but there are three legendary ones. Since there are so few trace rifles, I'm going to go over each one and what I think about each one individually. For Crucible, these are pretty interesting. They have a 0.77 TTK on top of being a flinch monster. You would think that this makes them a top contender, but there is a reason why you don't see them that often in Crucible and that is because they are a special weapon, meaning that you can't use other special weapons like a shotgun without having less ammo in both guns and picking up less ammo whenever you grab a brick. Speaking of ammo, it is hard to keep enough ammo in your gun without having your ammo split in half, as you don't always kill someone whenever you're shooting them. They are especially hard to use in 3v3 game modes, as you normally don't get a kill off the start of a round, just trading shots back and forth trying to get a pick. The first trace rifle is the Cold Heart. This gun has a perk called Fusion, ramping up your damage the longer you damage a target. The other perk is Longest Winter, letting you generate ionic traces while in the high damage state. This pairs very well with certain exotics such as Fallen Sunstar and Heart of the Most Light to help your ability reach it. This gun synergizes very well with Arc, as a spark of beacons lets your arc special up in final blows line while you are amplified. This gun lets you become amplified on multi kills as it is an arc weapon as well. On Warlock, Electrostatic Mind gives you more ionic traces when defeating jolted or blinded targets and makes you amplified when you pick up an ionic trace. Titans have Touch of Thunder with pulse nades to get even more ionic traces. I couldn't find any fragments that help touches directly, but there are exotics like Shinobu's Vow. This is a great add clear weapon, able to blind an entire room, and recharge your abilities much quicker than most other builds. The Prometheus Lens is a solar trace rifle with the exotic perk Prismatic Inferno, making an AoE ball that grows the long view fire it at the location of impact. Sustained damage applies Scorch to the target. The other perk is just another form of subsistence. This gun does not feel as nice as Cold Heart because it seems to be for mini bosses with the Scorch and AoE only applying for prolonged shooting. The problem is that this requires a lot of ammo to kill a mini boss, and you could just use another special weapon. You can use the Heat Field by shooting, not necessarily damaging an opponent, but this wastes a lot of ammo, and if you stop for even a second, it just disappears and it's reset back to zero. I think the main problem is that Trace Rifles are best for ad clear but this one is trying to be a mini boss and boss killer, as its perks don't work unless you're fighting one of those, and that only works with Divinity. The Wave Splitter is a Void Trace Rifle with the exotic perks of Harmonic Laser, giving the laser three modes of damage that it bounces between while holding down the trigger. The other perk is Supercharged Battery, putting the gun into max damage mode when you pick up an orb. Sustained damage in this mode suppresses. I was using this with Netherrack Sin, taking my ability energy back quicker, and Echo and Stability, giving you volatile rounds on grenade kills. It does good damage when charged up, but like the other two, I kept running out of ammo when I was trying to use it. I would say that out of these first three, this one is the one that you can use without a build and it still performed decently, but it's just not as good as the other two I'm going to touch on later. The Runer's Effigy is also a Void Trace Rifle with the exotic perks of Transmutation turning you defeated targets into a void sphere that you can wield. The other perk just allows you to do three attacks with your sphere. You can block to take less damage and drain the health of nearby enemies, healing yourself. You can do a heavy attack, dunking your ball, using it all up, but doing a pretty large amount of damage. And you can do a light attack, which is just like a normal swipe. While you are blocking, you will actually blind the enemies you are damaging, making this very good for ad play. I was going to use a Glacianade build on Titan for Overshield as well, but I realized that this gun does not need a build to do well, and it was more practical to not run the build. I also was not running out of ammo, as I would get a kill with this, we would get out of 6 to 7 kills with my Transmutation Sphere. If there's one gun that I want you to try from this video, it is definitely this one, as not only is it good, as long as you're able to not get one shot instantly, it is very fun. I would recommend running high rezo just to be safe though. The last trace rifle that I'm going to be focusing on is the Aegis Scepter. This gun has the exotic perk of Aegis Call, slowing nearby enemies on kill, and is actually able to freeze them if you get multiple kills. The other perk is just another form of subsistence, but it works with any stasis skill. 
The reason why this is, in my opinion, the best trace rifle other than Divinity is because it can actually be used at range. The Rudeness FOG is good and is a lot of fun, but you aren't able to be running around in a GM with that. But Eager Scepter can freeze an entire group of enemies, and then all you have to do is shatter them. And you can do all this in range. And once one of them shatters, the rest of them will all shatter. And they'll just keep doing damage to each other. I'm not going to focus on the divinity, as I don't have the divinity. And most people know that it is really good anyway. The legendary trace rifles are just not good enough for me to talk about here. They're kind of like Metheus Lens, where they run out of ammo really quickly, and they don't have any good perks that do anything, other than Retrace Path having Golden Tricorn, if you're willing to put that amount of setup into having like a 10 second bomb. The only problem with Crucible is the fact that you can't use another special. This really limits your options, as Trace Rifles themselves are a close to medium range gun, so you're stuck with a longer range gun, as your primary as well, like a scout rifle or a pulse rifle. For PvE, most of these are good, with Ruinous and Aegers just being really good compared to the other one. These ones are so good that you don't even need a build for them to feel great. So if you're going to try out Trace Rifles, I would recommend starting with one of those too, because if you don't like those, I don't think you're going to like any of them. But who knows, to each their own.